So if you happen to be scrolling around the feed and you accidentally clicked on this video and you're like, wait a second, Masters of the Universe movie figures? Did they even make a movie? I thought that movie didn't come out for like another year or two. Well, they made a movie. It's like 30 years old and it's probably one of the worst movies ever made. Why did they make action figures for this line? <sighs> a better question is why did I buy them? This is like... When you go to a Jack Shack and you see that hole in the wall and you're thinking, well, maybe there's a really hot chick on the other side of that hole and you're going, maybe I'll stick my dick in it and find out. Well, I stuck my dick in it and ended up with some Masters of the Universe movie figures. The figures aren't bad. The movie really sucked. And this is when you're sitting here going, man, maybe this is an area where I could have cut back on and saved a little bit of money considering these things are like $40 after shipping. I don't know why I got them. I do like them. I'm happy they're in my collection. I think once I get that Snake Mountain, put it on the shelf, me and Masters of the Universe will no longer be friends. I'll come in and visit from time to time. But I'm not taking it to dinner anymore. Let's check these out. All right, so I gotta be open. After getting these things out of the package, open them with them, playing for a little bit. I have to admit, I think I like sticking my dick in that hole because these things are kind of fun action figures. Well, over here you have Commander Korg. He's the same as the one behind it. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with that. Rebel Leader He-Man, or you could just call him He-Man. That's what I'm gonna call him. The movie version, it comes with two heads. If one head wasn't gay enough, they give you another head pretty much exactly like it. I did a side, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the only other He-Man that I could find in my collection that actually had a red cape. That's the reason why I pulled that out. Then you have God Skeletor, which I look at that and I'm like, dude, that's a pretty cool action figure. I'm actually really glad that I bought it. I don't know if the one behind it is called God Skeletor. I can't remember. I have no clue. You can probably catch out one of Pixel Dan's videos. I'm sure he watches this movie at least once a week. He could give you all kinds of cool backstory. And then you have, um, what, what do they call him? Dark Skeletor, which I don't know why they don't just call him Dark Skeletor. Let's go ahead and start with him. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with these two because they're basically... The same exact figure. You can see they got the same dress on, the same chest plate, the same cape, same hands, kind of the same weapon. The only thing different is the paint and the head sculpt, which I like both of these. Like I said, I can't remember shit from the movie. It was, God, it had to be at least 30 years ago. But they look really cool on the shelf. Just the fact that they made figures for that crappy movie is... Just, I don't know, like I saw it and I was like, should I buy it? Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with Skeletor versus the movie version of Skeletor. Which, when you look at this, you're like, God, the movie version isn't bad. I do remember in the movie that thing was like a mask with the skull on it. And it was just like, you got to be kidding me. Like, I went with one of my buddies and we knew that we shouldn't be there. It was just like a guilty pleasure, but it wasn't that much of a pleasure. We walked out of there and we're like, dude... That sucked even worse than I thought it was going to suck. So here's the Skeletor next to the Dark Skeletor, which I'm just going to call him Skeletor. And then over here we have the God Skeletor, which I don't know what this one was called. I guess we can call him the God Skeletor. I don't know if he's, he's kind of got like a robot fit on and then the skull is not green like all the other ones. I'm not really that big into He-Man or... Just, I just thought that they looked cool and I should put them. Okay, I watched a few episodes when I was like a teenager and it was a guilty pleasure. Maybe that's why these things are over here right now. And then you have He-Man. Like I said before, he comes with two head sculpts, which this is like, they're basically like the same, the same like hair, same mullet hair. Love that. And then the face is slightly different. I really don't even see the point. This thing is actually a pretty cool action figure. It comes with tons of weapons. It comes with this little... Knife here. He didn't have any place to hold it, so I put it right in there. He comes with a gun holster over here. The gun is just one color. The holster is kind of cool. And then he also has a knife holster over here. A sleeth, I guess you could call it. I guess that's what it's called. Pull that out. Little detail on that. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, these figures are pretty cool. I'm going to put them up there with the rest of my figures. 
And then the sword actually fits in the sleeve here, which this is definitely pretty cool. You can unclip it here, pull it out, and then you have a sword, which, I mean, it's a movie figure He-Man. I don't know how many people actually saw that movie. If you, unless you're like my age, I can't imagine that you would go back and experience something like this and think that you're going to get something good out of it. For a side-by-side -side comparison with him, we'll do him with this other He-Man. This is, like I said earlier, it's the only one in my collection that had a red cape, so I pulled him out. I figured that would be a good comparison for that. And then you have this Korg over here. It's exactly the same as this one, but repainted just like how the Skeletor is. Except for this one has the same head sculpt. This one's in a blue costume. This one's in a gold costume. Exactly the same. Same cape. Same everything. Oh, man, they could have given you something different. The same accessories. Has like this little thing that fits in his hand. I don't know what that is. And I keep trying to put this in the hook, but it keeps falling. That's it. Let's show you the collection. Okay, so this will probably most definitely be the last He-Man video that I do before I do the last He-Man video that I ever do. Because I think all I have coming is that Snake Mountain. I'm going to do a review of that. And after I do that, I think I'm pretty much done with He-Man. So here's the movie figures. This is kind of where I put them. Eh, I, I mean... They, they look as cool as everything else on this shelf. This shelf looks great in your toy room. Like, you come in here, it's the most colorful shelf up here. It's I need to, like, condense this, squeeze this out, squeeze them together, save a little room. Like you can see I've got them pretty well spaced out in that nice, dusty glass shelf. And coming down here is, like, kind of like the good guys, the girl characters. The girl characters are up top. And I think that some of these are good characters. Some of them I just kind of squeezed in here. Um, there's Root Beer Man. Toy Shits gave me that one. The He-Man are down here. That's my Masters of the Universe He-Man collection. I mean, I am pretty proud of it. I like it. I enjoy it. I come in here. I still look at it. It's colorful. It's fun. That's it. Thanks for watching.